Alright, so I watched a TV series recently called Frasier. Now, this is a big one, and I believe that, just like Cheers, it's a bit inconsistent in how good it actually is. The important thing to note, though, is that I very much did enjoy Frasier, and I would recommend it in its entirety. What is it about? An out-of-work psychiatrist moves out of Boston, where he spent long years frequenting a certain bar, found love, and even had a son. Yet leave he did, and he arrives back in Seattle, the city where he was born and raised. Now he took over a radio show where he offers people advice. All the while he lives his life as Fraser Crane, MD. What did I enjoy? The pompous brothers. And I honestly think the show would not work if not for Niles. He starts a bit boring at first, still funny, although just less. Eventually, though, he steals the show and becomes the best part of it. If anything, I'd love to have him as the main character. And it's depressing to me what the show only went for 11 seasons, since the first few it's as if he was barely there. I just wanted more of him. Especially when he married Daphne. And it's spoilers by the way, but who cares, it's obvious that it was going to happen eventually. I also loved Martin, Frazier's and Niles' is dad. He is completely the opposite of his sons, which is why it works so damn well. A retired cop, injured in the line of duty, stuck in his ways and kinda sad and lonely, all things considered. It's actually kind of a running theme, everyone in the show is a lonely person. Probably why it resonates with me. I... I don't cry that often, guys, I, I promise, I'm not... I'm not too terribly lonely. <coughs> It's a bit difficult to segue out of this, so I'll just do it anyway. These three characters are what carries the show, and I believe is done so well that I'd consider them timeless. Uh, there are other things to praise, like the relationship Rose and Fraser has shared, the awkward stupidity of Niles when it comes to Daphne, the countless absurd, absurd escapades with women Fraser has, the occasional regular who steals the show for a few episodes. There are definitely things here I can freely praise. Unlike Cheers, where I had to dig the bottom of a barrel and still dig even deeper than that. Frasier is a show I enjoy and won't soon forget, and I very much do recommend it to everyone. But I also had neg some negatives to point out. For example, the Rose's kid. That storyline happened and rather suddenly and changed her character forever. And while the story itself wasn't bad, it turned Rose from a lovable snarky bitch into a whiny mess. Not forever, but it definitely staggered the enjoyment for a while. Also, the whole Mary's storyline Niles had to deal with. I don't know how much I can attribute that to the actor not finding his stride yet, and how much of it was me wanting to slap him silly for making such stupid decisions, either way, when it goes back and forth in their relationship. I just can't stop rolling my eyes. Although, although it was very enjoyable to keep hearing about her, without ever seeing her. One moment in particular stands out when they divorced and Niles can't stop staring at some fat lady eating non-stop. The rest of the cast are upset at Niles for making fun of a poor woman, but then he mentioned that it's Marius. The reaction just made me burst out laughing every time. But bloody hypocrites. There were also shorter storylines which I disliked, like Martin's girlfriends and how all of them were kind of obnoxious, although not without their fla fair share of comedy. How he's had these cases he could never solve and how I just felt like it was a complete afterthought and slapped together a story at the last minute. Although the resolution was pretty funny. How Fraser had this rivalry with his neighbor, but it did give that hilarious moment of their parents pulling a prank. Daphne's family being a disgusting mess, although her mother was very funny at times, especially when she got a job. Frederick, Fraser, and Lilith's son was always kind of annoying. Although that Thanksgiving episode when they just kept badgering that poor man was arrived. And there are probably other moments I didn't enjoy that much. These are just what came to mind. Oh, and there was that, um... That was an episode which felt like it came from another show entirely. A character who is supposed to be Fraser's relative suddenly arrives to inform him of a wedding. And it turns out there is a whole other side of the family, the Greek one. And Martin has a brother despite saying what he doesn't in the earlier episodes. It's just, it was not a very funny episode and it came out of nowhere and left without any lasting impression. This is probably the worst episode actually. Very little to redeem it. Well, there was that one moment where Niles is hiding. That one made me burst out laughing. But that's it. <clears throat> really, I could probably come up with something very funny come out of, out of, coming out of most of these negative things I've complained about. Which is why I think the show works so damn well. Even flaws have something to redeem them. Also, what Frasier, my favorite Simpsons episode, would have never happened. Probably from another series. And I very much do adore the Simpsons. Which brings me to another point. Without Cheers, Frasier would never have happened. 
And I already stated my opinion on that. It's weird how this whole thing works. Makes me think of that speech in, from Simpsons Season 7, Episode 18. If it weren't for someone pleasurizing the honeymooners, we wouldn't have the Flintstones. Not what it applies exactly, but I kinda couldn't think of any quote what does fit, and I always wanted to quote it. So... whatever.